Yo what's going on people welcome back to the channel today we're going to be making another hard pain beat for Gunner and I'm going to be showing you guys how I did it including the loop and the drums so today's beat is actually inspired by Back to the Moon by Gunner and that one was produced by AOSM. Okay so the first thing I've done is made this pain loop using a guitar and a piano for the main sounds and as well as that I added a bass and some accents so I'm just going to play that for you real quick. So just to break down the chords and show you how I've done it, as you can see we're working in C sharp minor and I've just put down some chords in C sharp minor and then all you're going to want to do to get the Latin kind of like guitar vibe for anything to do with Gunner, Young Thug, D Block Europe, any of those people, you want to take the second note that you can see here on all of these chords and you want to put them up an octave. And then it should look a little something like this and this is perfect for guitar chords and then what you can do is you can move them around a little bit and basically play with it a little bit and then get your sound. So after doing that for a little bit and playing around, I came up with this guitar melody based off those chords that I just showed you. And then for the mixing, I've added reverb, chorus, RC20, and then my fresh air which doesn't want to open for some reason and then ozone imager and then i've converted it as an mp3 and i've put up three semitones and also sped it up because i made it originally in 150 and that just helps give it an authentic feel so then one small thing i've added is this autumn spirit and it's just playing this very gentle melody And then I've panned this to the right and I've just added chorus and EQ to take out some of the sharp frequencies and the low ones. And then last of all, I've added this arp o preset from Portal. And then for the bass, I've got this one from Omnisphere called Growler Moog Bass. And this one automatically slides a note when you put one above another note. And this is what it's playing. And next up I'm using this grand piano from Labs and this is just copying the chord progression of the guitar but this time it's just got a few added notes here and there and to give a bit of a soulful vibe I just do these three little notes that kind of triplet down going back into it again and they don't even have to be in key that gives it a bit more of a soulful feel. And I've got Lyle's Feather from Omnisphere, which is just playing this very ambient sound in the background. And then to counteract that other sound from earlier, I've got this one panning to the left. And then the two last things for the loop are these two pain accents playing this. Cool, so that's all of the elements towards the melody and then all together it's playing this. Okay, so the next thing I've done is made a beat with it. Obviously, it looks very crowded at the moment, but I'm just gonna talk you through what each part is. So at the top here, you can see all of the elements of the melody, except for the two accents, which I've got at the bottom. And then this whole area here is the drums. And then I've got a volume which fades out at the end and a few rises and effects. So I'm just gonna play the drum pattern for you real quick. And in the future, if you want me to show you actually in depth how I made the drums, then I can do that. It's just these are very straightforward and simple drums. And this is what they're playing. I will 
note again, like I did in the last video, that the audio recording on this computer doesn't actually sound that good, but in real life, my mixing does sound a lot better, so I'm sorry about that. And for this beat, it did sound very good, but I just thought it sounded a tiny bit dry with the drums, so what I've done is I've added a reverb, and I've added the reverb on the master, and I've put this low cut here, turned all the way up, just so that the bassy notes don't reverb, and then I've just played around with the wet and the dry a little bit, and as you can see, it's turned down very low, but it does make a difference. I've also hired the high ends here. This just gives it a bit more of a sharp feel with the drums. And as for every beat, I've added a soft clipper, which everyone should be doing. This just makes your 808 slap a lot harder. So that's the full beat inspired by Back to the Moon by Gunner. And I'm just going to play a bit of the beat for you. Thank you for watching the tutorial if you liked today's video make sure you leave a like subscribe and comment down below what kind of stuff you want to see next i'm currently in a producer group called first select and we just started up a youtube channel where i'm going to be posting tutorials there with other people as well so i'll just put that in the link in the description down below and you can check that out and yeah thank you for watching see you guys next time